Today I will make a lumbar pillow using leather pieces from an old leather bag. One of the pieces has a small defect, but I will cut around it. Download the free pattern from the description box, cut out the shape and place it onto the leather piece. Place something heavy on top so the paper doesn't move. For example, use a metal foot. No, I'm joking, just use something heavy. I cut the pieces one by one, but you can cut them both using a rotary cutter. Now cut out the second piece. It's not a perfect cut, but I will fix it later. Fold the pieces in half and use chalk to mark the middle. See the chalk mark on the leather, so mark only the wrong side. Fold the zipper in half and draw a line to mark the middle. I will mark the middle on both sides of the zipper. Place the zipper facing down onto the leather piece. The middle of the zipper must be aligned with the middle of the leather piece. Use sewing or binder clips to clip them in place. Place one clip on the zipper's bottom stop and one on its top stop. Not use pins because they would leave holes through the leather pieces. Now sew only from the bottom stop to the top stop of the zipper. Don't sew its ends. When sewing thick materials, the stitch length dial should be set for long stitches. Change the presser foot with one for zippers. Then start sewing. Don't forget to make a few back stitches. When you reach the middle, lower the needle, raise the presser foot and open the zipper so it's not in the way. If you skip this step, the seam will be uneven. Make a few back stitches at the end of the seam. It should look like this. Now, unfold the zipper so the slider is facing you. Take the second leather piece and place it facing down onto the zipper. Make sure that the middle of the zipper is aligned with the middle of the leather piece. Place one clip in the middle, one on the top and one on the bottom stop of the zipper. You 
use chalk to mark the beginning and the end of the seam. Before sewing, make sure the zipper is halfway open. When you get to the middle, lower the needle, raise the presser foot and close the zipper. Now it should look like this. Open the zipper halfway, align the pieces and use clips to secure them together. I will use a regular pen to mark the seam line, but if you cut the leather pieces nicely, you can skip this step. Now place more clips, so all the sides are secured. Don't forget to pull the zipper ends towards the outside. I was about to forget the most important part of the pillow. Why don't you tell me? I know that only smart people are watching my videos. Don't be sneaky now. Next time, warn me before I put all the clips. I will use the straps from the same leather bag. See this box? It's full of old metal things from old bags and jackets. I need two D-shaped metal rings for the straps. Put the leather strap through the metal ring and fold the leather in half. You can make a seam near the metal ring. Fold the pillow again to mark the middle on both sides. Then put the straps between the leather pieces towards the inside of the pillow, so only the ends are visible. Use the marking to center the strap.
the leather is getting too thick for my cute sewing machine, so I decided to cut a piece of paper and wrap it around the place with the straps. The paper should cover both sides of the pillow where the seam will be. Use a pen to mark the seam line onto the paper. Now we are ready for sewing. the universal presser foot, but if you have the one for leather, it will be a better choice. Start sewing at the end of the previous seam, so in the end it will look like there's only one seam around the pieces. Sew slowly and carefully. When you reach the straps, turn the flywheel by hand. The domestic sewing machines are not supposed to sew leather and thick fabrics. If you sew fast, you can break the needle. Or if it's too difficult for the machine, the engine can burn out.
finally, do you still think that zippers are hard to sew? Now the easy part, which is the part for beginners. Cut the remaining threads and tear out the paper. scissors to make small notches on the corners near the seam allowance but be careful not to cut the thread open the zipper fully and turn the pillow inside out or outside in Use something with a pointy tip to turn the corners. Now fill the pillow with wadding. Then close the zipper and tie it to the chair. I will use regular black string to tie the pillow, but you can use black elastic band. It is very comfortable, you should definitely make one for yourself.